Greetings, beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Mother of Wands channel. My name is Volumi, and in this reading, we're going to be talking about today's astrology, and then I'm going to get into a couple cards here for insights. Now, for today's astrology, the major aspect is the fact that we have Mercury stationing to go direct today. This is pretty exciting, but if you're thinking, oh, sweet, communications are going to ease up, you're not quite out of the woods yet. You want to give this about a three-day orb for it to kind of clear up, but there's some other challenges lurking and lingering, right? This whole week is overshadowed by the fact that Mercury is square Saturn. So as Mercury is trying to leave its retrograde shadow, it's squaring off with Saturn all week. And because of this, it can be challenging our traditional views and our traditional foundations and the ways that we normally communicate. We could find ourselves moving through an avenue where we're learning to communicate differently in this period of time. And we know that that's normal anyway, because as Mercury stations to go direct, it now will have a period of time where it's going through what's called the post shadow. It will be moving through its post shadow through November 19th, and it won't be until November 20th that it's actually fully clear of this whole area of the sky that it's been in this whole time through since it started back on, um, I think it was September 23rd. So since September 23rd, third mercury has been in the same area of the sky and until until november 20th it's not going to clear that area so what's happening today is we're going we're beginning what's called the third and final pass of that area of the sky that mercury has been illuminating and when that happens we're taking the info that we learned in the first pass which was september 23rd all the way until it's stationed to go retrograde on september or on october 13th so look at what happened between september 23rd and october 13th Look at how that got refined, transmuted, edited, reworked, redone, rediscussed between October 13th and today. And now from today to the 19th of November, we are going to be dancing these new lessons of communication into form, into physical reality. And then after the 19th, we're going to be moving forward with from a new place of communication and understanding and experience of the world around us. So this is a pretty exciting this is a pretty exciting transit, you can imagine. And the moon is actually spending the day in Gemini. Gemini rules Mercury, okay? And so over the coming weeks, we're really looking at resetting any of these challenges in communication that we've had over the past couple of weeks. Things may have been stalled, projects may have been stalled, plans may have been delayed, but now they might be getting resumed, picked back, picked back up. And it can be hard to make sense of things. It can be challenging. Today's energies and vibes are going to be not the most pleasant, in fact, all week. Until, honestly, I'm like just waiting until the middle of uh, November when Mars goes direct. And then it's like, yes, once Mars goes direct and Mercury leaves its post shadow, things are going to be moving forward in really big ways. But until then, we're still kind of integrating. You want to be gentle on yourself. You could definitely be feeling a lot of fatigue during this period of time because of these shifts are so strong. And because as it's trying to shift forward, it's still being in that conversation of tension there with, with Saturn. And so just keep in mind, it can be confusing. It can seem like problems that we have or have been dealing with can get worse or magnified in this period of time, but just give it a couple of days. It'll mellow back out. Um, today also kind of challenging and, and complicating today. We have Venus quincunx to Uranus. And so when this is happening, um, we are kind of struggling between these two different polarities of like really wanting to be loved and nurtured and cared for that Venetian energy, right? And companionship and really just really interconnectedness with those around us and Uranus, which is like, I'm doing my own thing on solo trip. Like it's all me, rebellious energy. And so there can be a bit of an oscillation between those two things. Just know that when there's that oscillation where we're being pulled in two different directions, it's to show us something about why one direction is pulling us, why another direction is pulling us and where the middle path for us lies that we can um, reach our highest goals and goods. So I'm going to look at today's astrology or today's tarot a little bit. First and foremost, for the energy of this Mercury retrograde, what is the lessons? What is the energy that this Mercury retrograde season had for us? I've got the Ace of Fire. And then moving forward with the lessons and insights, the energy we're in now, and then the lessons and insights to move it forward here. So I'm going to start by talking about this Ace of Fire. I absolutely love this deck. But the Ace of Fire is actually related to Mercury. This is a Aries ruled card and is related to Mercury and Mars. And so I just love that. It's all about cooperation and how we cooperate with the world around us. 
it is basically how we unify things into one aspect and it, it's like taking several components and and bundling them up and beginning on something new so this is really because this is showing up it's telling me that all sorts of new opportunities have opened to us now because of the ways that we have changed and redirected ourselves during this period of mercury retrograde so this was happening to redirect us in a way that we can actually start a new adventure a new beginning that we've been looking for there's a lot of new opportunities that are now going to be available to align with us that just weren't there before we went through this mercury retrograde and really readjusted the way we were talking some some of us needed to renegotiate how we were showing up and who we were showing up with in our lives and during this past couple weeks we've been learning how to renegotiate and now we're continuing that process and then walking it into physical form moving forward and so this is something when the, when the ace of wands comes out it's talking about something that just really um it's new beginnings, new ventures, new opportunities. It's really positive communications being able to come in now. So I think that we, it's just that we weren't aligned with what we wanted before. And this Mercury retrograde has now aligned us with these new possibilities, new beginnings. This can be also um, sexual attraction. So it could be, you know, rekindling of love and romance and things like that. Now, the other two cards that I've got here, this is the 13 cards, the major arcana in this deck. And it's the Buddha reversed, prepare, or the Buddha prepared reversed. Now, when the Buddha prepared comes up reversed, it's saying, because this is the uh, message for you from this Mercury retrograde today, or Mercury stationing direct today, it's saying that, you know, when the when it's reversed, because the Buddha prepares, he's like out and meditating under this tree. When it's reversed, it's saying, all right, cool. You know, that waiting, that planning period, that, that time has come to an end. Now it's a time to get up and move and have action. And you might be feeling hesitant or slow because you've been sitting down for a while. So just don't hold yourself back and recognize that because of your inner work, your preparations that you've done, you're going to be able to have a more positive influence on the world around you and in, with people around you and in, in and through your communications. So this is a card that's saying during this period of time, moving things forward, you really want to focus on making sure you're coming from a place of clarity and surety and you know what you're doing and you're moving it forward. Now is the time. Let's begin to move things forward. There's no need to wait. And when we have the one of keys coming out as well as the architect card, I really love this card. It's one of my favorites in this deck in particular. And you see like this man and woman and they're dressed up and they're like in this Egyptian garb and they're building these pyramids <laughs> and palaces and things like that. And so this is saying that it's a really important time now. This is just kind of reiterating this. It's an important time for you to step into your personal power. You have to look at and recognize your talents and your strengths and your authority and really allow yourself to take on this opportunity because we have the architect card. So he, he's uh, feeling confident. They're feeling confident and strong and moving forward. They're directing people. They're pointing. They're telling people what to do because they're building something. And so it's like, you're now in an opportunity. You've been realigned throughout this period. You're now in an opportunity to move forward and to begin the growth and begin building the foundations of the pyramids that you want to erect in your life. So it's important that you move forward with that confidence. It's like during this past couple of weeks, and honestly, until Mars goes direct, our confidence is being tested in a really big way. And this is because we need, sometimes we need the pillars shaken to realize how to strengthen than them. And that's just what this is. We might have already been confident or perhaps you were dealing with um, lack in that area. But through this, we're learning how to be more sure of ourselves. So it's important that we step into a new level of that as we move forward with this Mercury retro, uh, Mercury going direct today. That, okay, look, I learned a lot of lessons and now I'm a different person than I was at the beginning of this transit in the end of September. Now I'm a totally different person. And how does this person construct um, the things that they want to see in, in the architecture that they want to see in their life how does this person move forward when an opportunity is presented ace of ace of uh, wands here ace of fire is the the wand being handed from the cloud so when an opportunity comes to you from seemingly nowhere from out of nowhere how do you take it and run with it right you you uh, sit with it and you decide what might be best you ruminate on it like the buddha under this tree and then you get up and you move forward like the architect ready to build and that's really the vibe and energy for today we're getting up we're moving forward and it's a beautiful day to get organized to do any kinds of scheduling and goal setting intention setting for moving forward but just 
just be understanding that until the middle of this month, a lot of plans still might be changing and very fluid because we've got that Mars going retro is, is retrograde right now. And Mars is a planet of personal power. So the things that would normally empower the architect and empower the Buddha to get up and walk away, that Martian internal fire energy is, is still going internal right now. So it's really about looking at how we're going to be making these moves and beginning to dance the first steps of who I am with this new level of confidence into the world around me. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you love these videos. If you do, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. All of those ways really help the channel. And I want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been donating this past week and month. I just, it really means the world to me. Um, thank you guys so much for your donations to this channel. It helps me to keep these free videos going for all of you. So thank you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. And until then, I am singing so much bliss in your direction.